Hi, my name is Ali, and I wanted to make this video about healing from an unhealthy father or healing from an unhealthy relationship with your father. And for some people, your father just wasn't there in your life. So oftentimes, if those things are happening to us, then we're going to need to work on healing our masculine side of us because usually like the father represents the masculine side, the mother represents more of the feminine side. And so I'll make another video about healing from mother wounds. Um, but this one I just wanted to make about healing from any wounds that you might have with your father or with the, the relationship and maybe it wasn't as healthy as it could be or strong as it could be. So healing from father wounds is one of the things that I've had to work on a lot um, in the past few years. And I also needed to work on a lot of healing the feminine too. So I had a lot of like feminine and masculine stuff I needed to heal. So just all around. And that's going to be a lot of people too. And I know there's going to be a lot of other people out there who have the same things or similar things to heal from. So I just wanted to talk about some things that have been helping me. And of course, healing from these types of wounds are going to be an ongoing thing in life. And the more that we do take the time to focus and work on things now when we know that we need to work on them, the easier it's going to get little by little. And I'm not saying it's going to be an easy journey a lot of the time. And the more awareness that we have of what needs to be healed, the more likely it is for us to be able to heal. So some of us had fathers or father figures that weren't really present in our lives. Um, that's actually really common or maybe who struggled from an addiction and so they weren't able to be emotionally there for you or in some way just weren't there for us. So it's really common that a lot of people had this with the father and a lot of people also have had, you know, their father not being there at all or maybe there was some other type of father figure that was either unhealthy or some situation like that. And if you had a healthy father, you may still want to watch this video if you're curious of what I'm going to say, um, if there's some things that you would still like to heal. So one of the major things I knew I needed to heal from my masculine side was involving protection and safety because usually the father is there to make you feel protected, a healthy father is there to make you feel safe, a healthy father is there to make you feel seen and to accept you and just to be there for you. And not everyone had a father that was just really present and really there. Not everyone had that. And I'm not talking about like overbearing protection. I'm not talking about a father that just oversteps his boundaries in your life and you know prevents you from seeing people and just like overprotective because that is not healthy either. That is unhealthy for parents to do that. Once a child hits their teenager years, they should be allowed to have the freedom to make a lot of their own choices and do their own things. So I'm not talking about an overbearing protective energy, but just, you know, protective energy. Like, I'm here for you when you need me. I'm here for you. So that can be a struggle with a lot of us not feeling like we're protected and not feeling like we're safe. And I know I had this struggle for a long time. I would be in a lot more fear than I probably needed to be in, and that would draw situations into my life that would cause more fear. So if you're struggling with something like this, I totally feel you and there's a lot of people who struggle with things like this. So I had to really bring in the element of feeling safe, allowing myself to feel safe, bringing the emotion of safety into my body through meditation and just repeating, I'm safe, I'm safe, and not just saying it, but allowing myself to feel that I'm safe, allowing my nervous system to finally relax after being tense for years and years. And of course, creating safety for yourself in your life situation. So, you know, not putting yourself in dangerous situations, learning how to speak up for yourself. That is a very masculine trait, in my opinion, you know, learning to set boundaries and learning how to protect yourself. So, I had to work on allowing myself to feel more protected and protecting myself as well. And so this has been a process and learning to say no when I needed to say no and learning how to trust my gut feelings, learning how to put myself in situations where I was going to feel safer. And so it's been a process for me to learn how to feel protected within myself without having a masculine energy there. And another masculine trait that I personally needed to work on healing was the ability to take forward motion and to take actions. That's another masculine trait. So I was really working on, you know, taking action so that I could work towards my goals in life. And of course I started small. I was definitely the type of person to procrastinate a lot of things. I would get easily distracted. That's definitely more of a like a feminine quality. I wouldn't say just getting distracted is a feminine quality, but just not being able to wield enough of that masculine type of energy to set my foot down and be like, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to move. So that type of energy is what I needed to heal as well. And I started small and I started with just little things that I was doing in my routine and creating more discipline in my life. 
and discipline is another masculine energy type of thing. So just learning more discipline and what to allow into my life, what to not allow into my life, and what to allow myself to do and what to not allow myself to do, taking more responsibility for my life. And thinking ahead, thinking ahead is also another masculine trait in my opinion, just the ability to look at the future and plan for the future. That was something that I was not doing at all before. I didn't even, I didn't think about the future at all. Like if someone asked me like, what are you gonna do in the next like couple of years? Be like, I don't know. I'm still gonna be alive now it's become easier for me to make some kind of plan and put motion forward and I'm not the best at you know planning everything and structuring everything but at least there's things that I'm implementing in my life that I never used to be able to do before very well so I feel hope and I feel progress and finances is another masculine trait just being able to look at your finances and to be able to manage your finances and also that has to do with thinking ahead about your finances so being a little bit more aware of my finances I'm not saying I'm really good at structuring my finances and things like that but just being able to look at that area and just think about it more so forward momentum and just having being able to have some mastery over what you're doing celebrating your little accomplishments it's really important to be able to celebrate that so that you can continue to feel good about moving forward rather than stressing yourself out and pressuring yourself that is the toxic father that is an unhealthy trait that some fathers have is to you know push their children too hard and want their children to do to be the best at everything and no like you need some feminine to balance that mentality out so just a healthy level of you know, taking actions and setting goals and going towards your goals. And of course, learning how to be proud of yourself. Every father should be proud of their children and accept their children for where they are and for who they are and celebrate their children and just, you know, love them in a way that a father can. And it feels really interesting to be able to talk about this, especially in front of a camera, because I haven't really had the healthiest father type of figures in my life. And so this is mostly through like observation and what I'm learning and just kind of feeling into it like intuitively like what is you know how do you heal like that father wound when you had a lack of that healthy masculine energy in your life. So some affirmations that I came up with to heal some of this is I feel seen. I feel seen. You should feel seen by that masculine energy by that father. If you didn't have a father in your life you need to learn how to feel seen and to be able to just see yourself. And that may sound a little weird, but everyone needs to feel seen. You need to feel seen by your parents. You need to feel safe in feeling seen and feeling accepted. I feel seen was a really big one for me to work on, just working on feeling seen by, by myself and also feeling seen by others, allowing myself to feel seen because I am here. A lot of people's fathers were not there, so just coming back to I'm here for me and you know there's other people in my life that will be here for me when I draw the right energy into my life and so another one is I'm here I'm here for you and I'm here with you if you didn't have a healthy father in your life he may not have been there for you or with you so you need to heal that and feel like you're gonna be here with yourself you know you are here for you you're here with you other people will be here for you other people will be here with you you're not gonna lack that energy throughout your entire life if you heal this wound of feeling like you know I'm here for myself like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this you know I'm with myself I'm here for myself and I am here so just that feeling of being here. I feel like a lot of us as children, if we didn't have someone there for us, if your parents or family were kind of in their own thing and they weren't there for you or here for you, if they didn't you know, make you feel seen, a lot of us had a tendency, because that's a level of neglect, that is neglect. And so that can cause a tendency for a lot of us to dissociate and not really be here or feel here. And I know I struggled with that a lot. Just I struggled with being present in the moment. As a child, as a really young child, I was dissociating so much. And I would always have this like like stressed look on my face. And I realized that when I was in first grade and the little girls would come up to me and they would be like, are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah. And I had no idea what was going on at the time. I didn't realize what was happening until I was an adult. And I'd look back at that those times and realize, yeah, I was, I was definitely, I was dissociating a lot. I was like stressed out as a child and I had to learn how to 
um, I had to learn how to have a normal face so that people didn't keep coming to me and asking me if I was okay. So I learned how to mask what I was feeling at a really early age. So if you have to heal from dissociation, then it's really important to just, I think meditation is one of the most important ways to just really be there for yourself and just learn how to be in, there, in your body. And not meditations where you're dissociating because there are certain types of meditations where you are actually like leaving your body. And so that's not gonna be the healthiest thing when you're healing from something like this. So I don't recommend going into those types of meditations if you're, especially if you're new at meditation, just come back to the body and come back to a wholesome feeling in yourself trying to create wholesome feelings in yourself and you can do this from scratch but you have to do it like you have to generate these emotions within you like ask yourself this is something I asked myself like like what does it mean to feel safe like how does someone feel when they're safe and so I had to train my body to learn how to feel safe when I grew up not feeling safe. So I recommend trying meditations where you are just really extremely aware of your body and you can find free videos online that do body scans. So just scanning the body head to toe or toe to head and just feeling all the different parts of your body because your soul is in your body. Or at least it should be in your body. Not everyone's soul is totally in their body, especially if we dissociated a lot. So just bringing the soul back into the body, there's something called soul retrieval, where you can learn how to bring the soul back to the body because if we went through a lot of trauma when we were young, we learned how to dissociate really young. So we need to call ourselves back into ourselves as soon as we get into a safe environment. So it's really important as an adult, if you went through a lot of trauma, you need to find yourself a safe environment where you are able to feel safe and protected because you do need to heal your nervous system. You need to heal all of that flight or fight response. And if you don't heal that now, you're gonna just continue to be in flight or flight mode and that's going to cause that causes physical pain that causes a lot of mental anguish that just you know your body gets addicted to stress and I'm not going to lie my body was addicted to stress I didn't know how to not be stressed so it's really about teaching yourself how not to be stressed all the time and that's a huge thing that's a really really huge thing I'm still working on it another affirmation that I think is really important to heal the masculine is I see you I see you because a lot of us didn't feel seen by our fathers. They, maybe they were off doing their own thing, you know, addictions, whatever it was. Maybe they weren't present in our lives very much. Maybe they were dissociating themselves. That's very common. And so I see you learning how to tell yourself, like, I see you. You know, I see what you're going through. I see what's happening in your life. I see you. And this is really healing just for me to be able to say this right now on camera. But um, that's definitely something I work on continue to work on this affirmation I see you like I feel seen you need to feel like you're seen and so being able to feel this within yourself will allow you to uh, will allow you to allow others to see you and to feel allow your uh, allow yourself to feel seen by other people as well because there's a safety in feeling seen and seen not in a judgmental way of course but in an accepting way like, I feel seen, you know, I'm seen and I'm accepted. I accept where I am in my life. I accept who I am. I see who I am. And of course, the next affirmation is I accept you. I accept you. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, you make mistakes, but I accept you. You can make mistakes and I'm still going to accept you. So just learning how to feel accepted, learning how to accept yourself. This has been a huge one. If we weren't accepted by our parents, it's going to be a lot harder to accept ourselves. So we just have to acknowledge that, you know, maybe our parents weren't able to accept us because of their own issues. They probably weren't able to accept themselves if they weren't able to accept us. So we can break that pattern and destroy that pattern and learn how to have self-acceptance. And the last one that I'm going to say is I'm here for you. So if our parents weren't able to be here for us, then it's going to be hard for us to be here for us. So I'm here for you is a really good affirmation of just learning how to be here for yourself, of learning how to be here for yourself through everything, no matter what, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are in life, no matter what's going on, just I'm here for you. I'm here to support you. So that was all I have for today. And of course I'll have more things to say later. I do want to also do one for healing the divine feminine, but this one today was more about healing the masculine side. And these are just things that have helped me and that I've, intuitively brought into my life 
And so there's going to be more resources from other people who do work like this as well. So I would definitely try to check more people out if you do want to heal your Divine Masculine. But this is just all I had to say for today. And if you would like to see more content, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you have anything to share, I would love to read your comments. So feel free to comment down below. And I hope to see you in the next one.